Kate and William's strange milestone without Meghan and Harry, not how they envisioned. Kate, Duchess of Cambridge and Prince William marked a strange milestone without Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, a royal commentator claimed, saying it was, not how they envisioned. The Duchess of Cambridge, 40, marked a huge milestone last month as she visited mental health service Shout. The 24-7 free text messaging support service has reached more than 1 million conversations with people in need of support with their mental health. Shout was launched by the so-called Fab Four of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and Meghan and Harry, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex as part of their Heads Together campaign in 2019. During Kate's visit to Shout's centre, she praised volunteers and thanked them for their hard work. The Duchess also heard how the service is welcoming members of the public to join as volunteers. Use of Shout, which operates around the clock, has shot up by 140% since the start of the pandemic. In 2020, it emerged that William had become a volunteer for Shout, joining 2,500 other people helping those in need. That year, Harry and Meghan announced their intentions to step back from their royal roles. Royal commentator Zoe Forsey said it must have been strange for the Cambridges to mark Shout's recent milestone without the Sussexes. The Daily Mirror's online features editor claimed it was probably not how they envisioned the landmark moment going. The journalist chatted to the newspaper's royal editor Russell Myers last month on their royal podcast Pod Save the Queen. Ms. Forsey said, it was such a good idea and to see it doing so well is fantastic. But what is also interesting about this is that this was the first major project that the Cambridges did with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. It was the first Fab Four venture. They didn't go together but we got all the photos of them seeing different sides of it. So, it must be quite a strange one I guess for Kate and William to celebrate this milestone. But obviously, it is probably not how they envisioned celebrating it when they set it up back in May 2019. Mr. Myers said, things all seemed so simple back then when we were talking about the Fab Four. What they could do for the royal family. What they could do for the fantastic charities that they were supporting at the time. And of course, there has been a lot of water under the bridge since then. After Meghan and Harry announced they would leave their roles in the royal family, they eventually settled in Montecito, California. In their new lives in the U.S., the Sussexes have continued their commitment to charity and humanitarian work. The couple set up a non-profit foundation through their organization Arch UL. Like William and Kate, Harry has also kept mental health as one of his primary causes. The Duke was appointed chief impact officer at mental health coaching firm Better Up last year. Mr. Myers said the world has not seen Meghan and Harry too much recently. However, he added, Arch UL is very much a vehicle that is happening behind the scenes. And if you're going to launch a global charity, I would presume that is not an easy task to happen overnight, especially when you're just coming out of the global pandemic. To subscribe to Pod Save the Queen go to your normal podcast provider.
what they could do for the royal family, what they could do for the fantastic charities that they were supporting at the time. And of course, there has been a lot of water under the bridge since then. After Meghan and Harry announced they would leave their roles in the royal family, they eventually settled in Montecito, California. In their new lives in the U.S., the Sussexes have continued their commitment to charity and humanitarian work. The couple set up a non-profit foundation through their organization Arch UL. Like William and Kate, Harry has also kept mental health as one of his primary causes. The Duke was appointed chief impact officer at mental health coaching firm Better Up last year. Mr. Myers said the world has not seen Meghan and Harry too much recently. However, he added, Arch UL is very much a vehicle that is happening behind the scenes. And if you're going to launch a global charity, I would presume that is not an easy task to happen overnight, especially when you're just coming out of the global pandemic. To subscribe to Pod Save the Queen go to your normal podcast provider.